Hi everybody, Regonite 71 here. I have been tagged by one of my subscribers, Jason Coldplazer, and I've never done a garden tag before on, on YouTube, so this ought to be fun. I have 10 questions to answer, and then I've got to send it on down the line and tag somebody else. So let's get to it. Jason's first question is, what zone are you in? And what's your frost date? We're in 7B in uh, western Arkansas. Our frost date is around April 15th, but I think I'm going to push it this year and get them in the ground a little bit earlier, maybe around the 11th or so. I've got all the plants outside right now sunning and uh, hardening off. Last few days it's been rainy and cold. I haven't even been able to bring them out, so it's definitely time to do that. What is your favorite plant to grow? I bet a bunch of you already know this. It's got to be tomatoes. But I love growing anything that uh, will help me make salsa. How long have you been gardening? Well, I've been gardening since I was a boy in my dad's garden. Uh, helping him out. A lot of times when I was a boy, it was not of my own free will, but I'm glad that uh, he had me out there and spent time with him and he showed me how to do a lot of stuff. Um, but I've been doing it on my own intensively for a couple of years now. What got me into gardening? Well, when I was unemployed um, and with the state of our economy, I thought, you know what? A, uh, growing our own food is a very good idea. Um, when you stop and think about the state of our economy right now, um, the Federal Reserve is turning our money into uh, junk bond status. I mean, they're going to monetize over $17 trillion in debt, and they're already doing it, and it's making our dollar become worth less and less. When you think about that, and you think about hoarding silver or gold and things like that, it's going to be awfully hard to barter with that stuff because of the value is going to be so high. If it's $2,000 for an ounce of gold, I don't know that you're going to want to buy a tank of gas for that. Um, however, if you've got tomatoes, peppers, uh, fresh fruit, food that you've grown, it's much easier to barter with. And most importantly, it'll feed you and your family. What's your favorite gardening tip? I think it would have to be the drunken compost. Uh, I'll post a link to the video here, but that enables you to take grass clippings and kitchen scraps and crushed up old leaves, turn it into soil in as little as 10 days. That's remarkable when you think about most compost piles, they just dump it all in one pile and let compost happen. Um, now, the original video was shot last year before I got a wireless mic, so the audio is not great, but it's not bad. Basically, the drunken composting formula, you take a 20-gallon hose-in sprayer that you screw onto the hose, it'll run 20 gallons of water through it for everything that's in, inside of the uh, sprayer. You can get them at Ace Hardware. And you put a can of beer, a can of Coke, and eight ounces of ammonia in it. And then as you build your compost pile, you'll put in a layer of leaves, spray it, a layer of grass, spray it maybe two to three inch thick, spray it, put on some old uh, completed compost over that, spray it, and just keep layering it up like lasagna. And every layer gets sprayed. Then you let it sit for seven days, cover it with a tarp if you like, or cover it with uh, dark compost that you've already got completed. After seven days, go in and turn it with either a tiller or your pitchfork and then let it sit for another three or four days. And then when you go back out there uh, and dig into it, you're gonna find that you're already developing rich soil. It's already turning. Um, after about 10 days, it's safe to use on the garden. The, the yeast and the beer and the sugars in the cola feed the beneficial bacteria. And then the ammonia kind of gives it a little, it's like a thunderstorm in a bottle. It gives it a little supercharge of nitrogen. And it's very, very good stuff. Somebody's mowing. <laughs> but I think that's my favorite gardening tip because it does something most people aren't accustomed to. It gets compost done fast. Now, if you put hot stuff in it, like chicken manure, you know, that, that, that would be considered hot. It would have too much nitrogen. Uh, it will burn your plants. But as long as you're using uh, 
your grass seed or your grass rather um, it's going to cook off your seeds that are in there because that grass as long as you keep it covered and you don't let the sun bleach the grass out it's going to uh, it's going to get really hot in there 135 140 degrees in the center of the pile and it's going to cook off any grass seeds that you have what do you have the most problem with in the garden well, last year it was weeds. Uh, that would be 1A. <laughs> we didn't put any weed block down and so I tilled the ground. I thought I had raked all of the grass away, but those roots are pervasive and they just came right up anyway and so we were constantly plucking weeds. The biggest problem that I had going into July and August was the heat. I, it was like this for a lot of people across the country. The searing heat. That daytime sun would get up and I couldn't give it enough water um, and stuff was just you know from that that intensive heat the heat rays it was just wilting everything and uh, making it really hard for them to thrive what gardening task do you hate huh I love being out in the garden <clears throat> I would have to say what I hate the most is at the end of the season having to pull everything out and clean everything up. Uh, I really don't hate that though. I mean, I'm enjoying most aspects of gardening. I hate to weed eat. Um, I hate having to stop caring and, and enjoying the garden every week to, to mow the grass. But then again, it allows me to make good fresh compost. So I like having the grass too. Um, I think one of the things that I hate the most though is having a big garden and not a bunch of people to help me. <laughs> what source do you use when you have trouble in the garden? Well, we're on it right now. YouTube and the garden community on YouTube is fantastic. We have uh, such a wealth and breadth of knowledge on uh, this website. If you have a problem, you can uh, do video searches and find videos that address your problem. Uh, and that's the nice thing, as opposed to just reading in a book or going down to the library or reading about it, you can pull up the video, you can see somebody showing you a problem they have and how they're addressing it, and it can give you ideas. And so that's a great thing. What gardening task do you love? I love harvesting. Um, and I am finding this year, this is the first year I've done a bunch of seedlings, I am finding that it is really, really fun watching this stuff grow from a seed. I mean, this, everything that you see right here was seed. And babied it, started it, got it up, got it transplanted. It's just an amazing thing to watch, uh, God's power of creation. It kind of... It kind of reminds me of the life cycle too, you know? The cycle of life. Uh, when we start off, we're young, we're tender, uh, we're small, and then we begin to grow up into our teen years, kind of like, like you see right here. And then before long, we're developing into full-blown full maturity. We're producing seed and off, offspring, just like the plants do. And then as we begin to age and mature, um, you know, we come towards the end. And then eventually, these will get put back into the ground, into the compost, but they'll rise again. Uh, just like believers believe. <laughs> uh, come the next spring, everything will rise again. How many plants do you have growing right now? Right now, I've got 130 plants here tons of uh, tomatoes. I've got Rutgers, I've got Better Boy. Uh, I need to get a couple of beef steaks and add those. I wonder if Reaganite Senior would loan me a few. Um, I've also got a couple of large red cherry tomatoes. My wife really doesn't like those, but I want to grow them. Um, squash, zucchini, cucumbers, cantaloupe, uh, strawberries, watermelons. I've even got a pumpkin growing in here. And yeah, I know it's a little early, but what the heck. <laughs> How 
Well, that's going to do it for my 10 questions uh, from Jason. Jason, thanks for tagging me. Uh, I guess I will send this on down the line and I will tag Gary Polarchik. He's got a great YouTube channel with a lot of useful information on seed starting, growing in containers, and what have you. So I'm going to tag him and send these 10 questions to him. They'll be posted down in the comments below. And I'm also going to tag you. <laughs> That's right. If you have a video camera and you're on YouTube, I'm tagging you. Uh, you can leave me a video response and you can answer these 10 questions too. They'll be in the uh, description below. And thanks for watching and have a great spring, everybody.